Okay. Hey, what's going on, Inspirators? It's your boy, Tony D from TonyDoyleInspires.com, popping in once again um, to give you another video here. Appreciate you guys um, jumping on the channel. We are here in the boardroom of TDI Global uh, Foundation and um, talking about some topics that are pretty important. And I wanted to um, let you know about one of them um, today. As you know, I teach a four pillar system um, as far as being a happy, satisfied, productive person, whatever that means for you in life. So we always talk about things that are, are either mindset, heart set, soul set, or health set, and talking about all of those being in balance and how they all intersect. Today, um, we are, like I said, as we were finishing up a board meeting here, talking about some kids' health, we are going to actually talk about uh, another aspect of our health set, which is super duper important. Um, now, this is helpful in our overall health, as well as our mental health, and it is in getting into a walking routine, okay? Um, we call it Healthy Stride. We, we're um, developing a program called Healthy Stride, and it's about doing walking and the health benefits like I said, both physical uh, and mental, um, which obviously affects all of our other four pillars, okay, um, by default. So we're going to talk about that today. If that is something that you are struggling with is getting into a physical routine of doing some walking, um, hopefully these tips I'm going to give you... Um, Four things to think about, four ways to get involved uh, that will hopefully that will help you as well. So first and foremost, if that is something, if your health set is important to you, um, we do have several videos on this channel and we'll continue adding more. So please go ahead and subscribe to the channel um, as we love to help you with all aspects. Um, and if it is important to you, like I said, go ahead and hit the bell notification as well because we are dedicated to putting on a new video every single day in all aspects uh, of the four pillar system. So that includes health and it includes mindset and it includes heart set and it includes soul set. So we have everything on this channel from chakras and meditation, uh, like I said, to health and wellness. Um, we've got things about um, process of writing music and staying creative and manifestation, all kind of things. So go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell notification. If you like this specific video, do give it a thumbs up. I've told you guys many times and it remains to be true. YouTube, um, in the YouTube algorithm, those videos with thumbs up actually are used as suggested videos to like-minded folks. So it's an easy way to get our message of keeping our health, um, top of mind, you know, one of our four pillars, make sure we're actually addressing it. Um, it's a great way to um, spread that message. As always, the best way of all, though, is for you to um, go ahead and share it out directly. So whether that's through any of your um, social media outlets or, um, you know, email or, you know, however you'd like to do it, um, feel free to spread the link all around. We love your help in sharing. Let me adjust this camera just a little bit. Hey, there we go. What's up, folks? So today, like I said, we are talking about getting into a regular routine of walking or what we call healthy stride. Now, depending on your mobility and um, the level that you're used to, this could mean everything from a simple walk around the block um, and everybody knows some mall walkers, some older folks who are trying to incorporate walking and they walk through the stores in the mall where it's warm and it's clean and all those things. And that is certainly a great way to include some walking. Better yet, especially uh, if you are mobile and if the weather um, does not preclude, is getting outside, okay? So we are going to specifically talk about outside walking. 
but once again this um, does not preclude any other type or location okay but I suggest and I definitely believe myself that walking in the out of doors provides so many additional health benefits than just walking alone that when you can do it you should do it okay so you've got the benefit of the sunshine you've got the benefit of the fresh air and the prana okay we have another video on prana right um grounding with the earth as we're doing it mother nature interacting with other people and animals sometimes you know say say you're at a park or something like that all right so if you can go outside please do so so we're going to talk about going outside and just uh we're here in the boardroom of tdi global so yeah that's what the background is but um i wanted to go ahead and hit this up while it was top of mind go ahead and record this video for you i think it's really important and i hope it's something that will help you so we're going to talk about four aspects of walking specifically outdoors which will help you okay so did you know that your body needs water whether indoors or outdoors and regardless of temperature stay hydrated before during and after any walk so wherever it is hydration is super important and you do, do notice that it said hydrate before during and after okay a mistake that i know a lot of folks make is they do not pre-hydrate they go out and they start walking they may even have a bottle of water with them which is great they may not they may completely wait until they're um done with their walk or their exercise routine and then try to hydrate realize that when you feel thirsty more than likely your body is already experiencing a level of dehydration okay so water is an important aspect another thing of walking out of doors obviously is being properly dressed so um to walk in comfort year round wear suitable clothing right layers you know in the midwest we're really good at wearing layers <clears throat> Um, but it's really important because that way you can remove when you start to warm up um, as you're walking. Um, don't forget uh, mittens and hat if you're walking in the winter time like it is now. Um, super important. Um, wear thermal socks to keep your feet warm and more importantly to wick moisture away so you don't develop um, any type of blisters uh, or hot spots there okay um, if you're going to be walking on snow and ice remember to tread carefully okay uh, wear light hiking shoes or something with the proper uh, the proper tread okay to prevent slips okay um, also walking sticks things like that are really important and they're fun so make make this fun. This is not a drudgery. It's something just to get out, breathe in the good prana. You know what I mean? Get the sunshine, get your heart rate up a little bit. And, um, and, and yeah, enjoy the benefits of walking and especially out of doors. Okay, when the sun shines, remember to add sunglasses. Add a hat and sunscreen, okay? Too many people who have a, uh, a small 30-minute um, walking routine don't believe that they need all that protection when in fact you do, especially if you're doing it three or four times a week, as I'm going to suggest, okay? Here's a final tip on walking out of doors here. No matter what the weather, accessorize with a pedometer or use your cell phone um, to not only track your steps, and maybe you've got a Fitbit or an app or something like that, that's great. But also, if you're walking by yourself, um, so someone knows where you're at, okay, in case anything does happen, um, a slip or a fall, those type of things, um, uh, be easy, easy to find you, you can call out if you need any assistance. So hopefully that makes some sense to you guys. So let me know down below if, um, if that makes sense, if any of those tips are helpful to you, um, and we are going to move right along. So all of that is kind of under my first little tip of uh, exploring the outdoors and important things to remember. Now, here's my second question for you 
about healthy strides and finding yours is did you know that many times fitness walkers slip into poor habits that can cause strain? Slouching, arching backs, swinging arms like windmills, flapping elbows like chicken wings, right? We, you guys have all seen them. People that are out doing power walks and they have a crazy form, right? What we would call form. Now, walking is a form of exercise just like everything else and it is important to get a good form. When it comes to walking for fitness, do what comes naturally, okay? Keep your head up though and your shoulders back um, just slightly, okay? So like, like you were proud of something, like walk like you're proud, right? Okay, take quick but normal steps, not huge big strides that's going to stretch out your calf muscles or knees, you know, you know, anything that's out of the norm too much, okay? Reach out with your hip and knee, letting your heel strike first with each stride, okay? And, and that's an interesting way. Some folks don't walk like that, but it is um, the proper way, the proper form of walking. A lot of folks walk in the ball of your foot hits first. I know that's a habit I had to train myself out of and actually caused a lot of stress on my feet uh, in, initially until I learned the right form. Now, as far as your gait, um, which is, you know, your actual stride, like I said, just do something natural doesn't have to be anything, um, in fact, should not be anything out of the normal. Let your arms swing and your hip and leg motion be smooth and natural. Okay. So, so here's a little tip. Here's a pro tip, okay. To tell if your exercise pace matches your ability, take the talk test. Okay. If you can't carry on a normal conversation, you're probably walking too fast or with too big of a stride and you should slow down and become more normalized okay so this is for walking this is a healthy walking um what we call it healthy strides this is um a suggestion and so just take that talk test like i said you should be able to carry on a normal conversation without being winded um without having to stop and think um because you're too focused on what you're doing um all of those things will lead to something that you don't want to finish and therefore not a sustainable activity. And the idea of this is to have a sustainable activity week after week, multiple times a day, or multiple times a week. So let's talk a little bit more about pace and getting into a regular walking routine. Okay, did you know that even if you miss a regular walk on say a busy day, a 10 minute walk can give you a physical and mental energy boost that will help you maintain your commitment. Okay, so if you can't do your normal planned 30 minute walk at the park, a 10 minute walk at the gym will come in real handy. Okay, or even um, at the mall right? So, and here's the thing. So do what's comfortable and natural and then gradually increase your walking time each week. Okay. Keep your walking continuous to raise your heart rate um, and in time boost your heart health. So that's where these devices come in real handy. Um, you know, a Fitbit or an, an, uh, an iWatch or iPhone watch, some of those type of things. Uh, or even an app on your regular phone um, will help you keep track of those type of things, okay? Um, so please use them, utilize that. And like I said, start out, um, start out slow, start out natural. Just get outside and start walking three to four times a week and then gradually increase, okay? Um, we talk in other videos about specific heart rates to hit, finding your natural rhythm. Um, and it's super important because um, that's how you like build, you know. So once you find a natural heart rate, you can stretch that a little bit every day and that will actually increase. 
um, your ability. So it increases your heart rate, increases your lung capacity, increases your muscles if you're um, not used to out, getting out and walking on a regular basis. So I do suggest starting at least three times a week and then gradually increasing that as well to four to five times a week. Um, and, and like I said, the more outdoor, the better. But on those days you can't get outdoors or you can't even do a full 30 minutes, go ahead and do at least 10 minutes, okay? And count that for yourself, you know? Don't, um, don't discount any type of activity because all activity is better than sitting on the couch eating potato chips, all right? All right, and finally, 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 um, and let me say, this is not an inclusive list by any means. Go ahead and start walking, though. You don't have to have 100% of knowledge on anything to take a little bit of action. I do suggest you do that. But here is an interesting fact. Did you know that fitness experts um, say that having an exercise buddy keeps you focused on goals and makes the routine feel less like work? Makes 100% um, sense, right? Um, as with everything, when we have somebody to share it with, it makes it more fun. So whether that is a partner, a friend, a, uh, a work colleague, or whatnot, togetherness makes exercise more fun and fulfilling. Walking with the companion, and maybe it's even your kids, right? Maybe you can get them into healthy habits. You know, here at TDI Global Foundation, we're all about helping our kids um, get into those healthy habits um, and then getting out of their way and allowing them to be their creative self. So <clears throat> so maybe it's your kids. Maybe that's your partner. But whoever it is, it's super um, productive to pair up. Um, it, it adds to good conversations, friendship. Uh, it's an extra little push to keep you going, right? <clears throat> Now, you can also encourage each other as far as weight control, stress management. As I said, one of the, one of the biggest benefits to walking outdoor. Um, but really, there is no negative downside as long as you're doing stretching, you're keeping hydrated, you're uh, properly dressed, and you've got a nice healthy stride. There's no downside to this to, at any part of your health, okay? And even if you're immobile in your feet, there is no reason why you cannot get outside on a wheelchair and um, get out and get, once again, 20, 30 minutes of fresh air and sunshine, um, get a workout on your arms or um, whatever you can do out there. Now, obviously, you can also add weights. You know, there's, certain, there's all kinds of different ways and things that you can do to increase the health benefits to the Healthy Strides program. But I do suggest that you just get out and do some, okay? Positive reinforcement in walking with company is also helpful when striving for success um, if, you get, if you guys set like a health goal ahead of time. And the best part of having an exercise buddy is just someone to conversate with, right? So and we talked about that before, doing the talk test. If you cannot hold a regular conversation, then you're walking too fast. Slow down. It's okay. Get Find a good pace. <clears throat> now here is a final tip on good company. Choose a partner who shares your interests and has a similar fitness level. You don't want to slow each other down or push too hard, but you also want to make sure you have good conversation to make it fun for everybody. So, all right. So those are just my little four categories. Um, I suggest you guys, you know, I, I'm a big advocate of Healthy Strides program for the entire family. Um, so if that is interesting to you guys or if you have other specific questions, um, feel free to inbox me. Um, you guys know I do coaching and mentoring and all that, and I'd be glad to entertain whatever questions you have. Either here on the channel, you can also go to our uh, Facebook group, Inspirate. Um, so the same name, NSPR8, and we have a great little group of folks that we talk about all the videos with and all the benefits and folks who try out the strategies and those type of things. So feel free to do that as well. And finally, if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification so we can send you notification tomorrow when we upload a new video to keep you inspired. And um, like I said, if you like it, give us a thumbs up so we can start sharing that. And if you really love it, 
or you know somebody who needs a little walking routine or maybe somebody you want to invite to be your walking buddy go ahead and share this out directly okay let me help you get everyone else around you um, inspired if that's not your thing uh, to start that conversation i would be happy to help by you guys sharing this video out and then you can have a conversation around it so hopefully that makes sense appreciate you guys as always stopping in the inspirate channel and i hope we are providing great value for you Comment down below any topics you would like us to cover, whether that is on mindset, whether it is on heart set, whether it is on soul set, or like this video on health set. We do strive to cover all four pillars and as always leave you inspired, right? Leave you inspired, leave you motivated, leave you high vibe and satisfied and happy and productive. All of those things. So... Let me know if we're doing a good job on that by giving us a thumbs up or not. And until tomorrow, leaving you with peace, love, and inspiration.